um, this time the challenge was slightly different. They did took a more entrepreneurship approach so they can achieve better, create incentive programs using the influence of the NBA. Today, we really focused on a multi-generational model. We had college students there, we had a lot of high school mentors, and then we had the middle school students. And even though they had this experience before, the challenge was kind of different because they used the NBA instead of projects that they used on their own. They really stepped up to the plate and came up with such innovative ideas. And even though it was harder because they had to connect their own problems to how they can connect it to the NBA. Hi everyone, uh, thanks so much for coming out. My name is Nick Phillips, I work for the NBA. I work on our international digital media team um, that works on growing the NBA's digital business. Well, we want to thank everyone for being here today. Um, the students have been working for four days intensely on their projects, and they have a lot to show you. On behalf of the Mini Fund, we want to thank Kay Scholler, as well as um, our panel of judges for making time, and especially the students for being there, and our college members and our high school students. So for over four days, they created these business presentations. They did use design thinking, explore the problem, and now they're going to come on. They're really excited, so please give them a huge round of applause. Woo! Woo! Yeah, basketball. Come on. Come on. We all have a big problem. Even when we're young, we're really bored when we're in class. <laughs> well, we don't want that to happen, do we? So what if one day the teacher walks in, has a ball in his hand, he places it on the table? Our business model will serve at least first by the basketball hoops, and then we will convince our teachers to want to do this. But before we do that, we would have to prove that it works. We would survey the kids in the classroom or around the school to see if anything is a good idea, and look at the test scores to see if anything has changed. Our solution is to build a safe online community where people can in interact and meet new friends. Our solution is an app that's a game. This game is going to help you focus on your homework instead of getting distracted on your phone and playing piano tiles all day. Our secret sauce is students can compete with their friends and meet their highest score. So our problem here is that kids not always eat healthy. The win-win with the NBA. The NBA gets long life fans using our app and we win fans using our app as well. What's good about this app is that it is accessible to kids, it is free and it is fun while still teaching lifestyle choices. Our problem is that students are stressed by schoolwork and homework obviously throughout the school. Our business model includes students that are rewarded for their work. This is the design of our website. Teachers can keep track of your grades and put in your test scores. And most importantly, the MBA. They can have a marketplace on our website. <laughs> I, I am going to cast my vote for three. Um, the, the reason why is because, especially from an NBA perspective, you know, you're looking at what leverages the brand the best because the, the key advantage that these kids have been given is that the NBA will partner with you. Right. It, it was very innovative, I thought, to say, you know, I thought they thought about the brand identity of the NBA. So, John Guaman. John Guaman, thank you, and Jonathan Rivera. We thought that NBA Shape Up was unique because it used the NBA in a really creative way. So you guys thought about what the NBA would want out of this proposal, your analysis of a win-win situation where the NBA can promote fitness and kids can have a, uh, a platform that motivates them to get fit. We thought that would be really appealing to the NBA.